too much and during like breaks it's like you're separated from the rest the rest they speak their language you feel like you're left alone even if you're in a group sometimes they they use their language but you feel like you're left uh, you're left out in a way you don't feel like you're at home uh, because it's really common is uh, if, if a person doesn't know your language uh, it is really hard to communicate with the person so I think I understand them in a way but uh, it's good to be open-minded, to learn the culture of other people. One day, I was waiting for a KFC place to buy something, some food. Like, you know, all people who were there, they were not, they were all Polish guys or something like that. So I was just standing, I was waiting, you know, and they started speaking a bad about me, that thinking in Polish, thinking that I don't know Polish, but me, I was just keep quiet. And one of my friend, Polish friend, incidentally, just came from, from I don't know, from the place that we and he started me and say like, hi, how are you, something in Polish. And I started t speaking with him. When I started speaking with him, they were like, they were shocked, like, you know, oh, he speaks Polish. And they were, at the first time, they were like, talking bad about me. And when they see that I speak Polish, they are like, everything, it's a shock for them. And even they didn't buy whatever they needed and they just escaped. The language barrier problem because people don't speak English, they they just speak Polish and I was speaking English. For me it was hard because even I, I couldn't know the street names because I can't spell the, the, the letters of the streets. And if I want to buy something, you can't communicate in the supermarket. It, it was hard, like for two months it was a bit hard, but you have to have patience. And after that it was okay. It was a bit hard, as usual, if you want to start a, new language, you must experience it, the hardness. But after a while, interacting with people, looking at movies in Polish, you just open your mind and everything was easy for me at last. There were good friends that I met interact with them, they help me, introduce me to new things, sometimes teach me, help me. And uh, yeah, they, they help you because they, 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 feel, they feel the situation. If, for example, a Polish guy went to, went to my country and doesn't know English, he feels what I feel. So they help you, they, they tell you do this, don't do that, they teach you their culture because I'm from another culture. There are a lot of people who are very helpful, especially my friends who I study with them, or some friends even, I think so, especially the young people. Yeah, every place we have bad people who are, uh, you know, they, they don't care whether, whether they speak their language or not, but there are other people, you know, who cares it. There are other people who are natural good, so that we can't say, like, I didn't get help. I get really the, enough help that I can learn the language, even I practice with them to talk. Some of them, like when I make like bond, like I make a mistake of saying, they are correcting me. You should say this, it's not like that. That's the reason. So I got really, they helped me so much. I'm Basha. Tandem evening. It's been over three years already that we're meeting every Monday except national holidays. 
uh, to exchange languages um, in this particular location in Centrum Sztuki Fort Sokolnickiego we are meeting for one and a half year already. As you can see there are flags on, the, on each table so um, you, you just simply choose the language you want to talk in and you see it uh, next to the right flag and then you usually find people who talk or try to talk the same language. It's pretty much all, there is no more complicated system behind it. Like on the meetings because you can meet lots of people. You can introduce yourself to Polish culture here, especially, and you can meet people overseas, even from China and Japan. It's really a very nice idea to put people together and to have established time and place to meet. Life changed very, very well. I think uh, I, I made a lot of friends uh, during the immigration. In the immigration, they they say you speak Polish. It's, I think it's a bit easier now than when it was during the other time. Uh, they when you speak when you speak, they are amazed. They ask you where have you learned. They are they, I can say they are a bit happy to hear a foreigner speaking their language, which is very difficult. Learning language is very important because when you, a, a, a small misunderstanding of language can bring can cause a lot of problems. If you understand very good language, you communicate with people. Uh, like in Africa, the seven countries who speak the same language. So I think it's good for business. It's, everyone is peaceful. You're, when you go to that country, you feel like you're at home. So it's, it's, it's very important to know language, really. Oh, it really changed a lot because it changed actually, you know, everything is like I can do for myself. But the first time I should go and search for a Polish person to translate for me. But now, like, I can do everywhere I want. I can even, you know, check the terms where I can, because since it's written in Polish, I speak Polish, I, now I like, you know, I can read it. So it's easy for me even where I to go, which shop to go, which is the name of this shop, I can just easily translate for myself. If you learn more than two languages, you'll be open-minded to another culture, another world. You understand more people, make new people, make new friends, and you have more ideas from other people. You'll not be close-minded. 